hello hello you guys welcome back to the channel hi my name is Erin and today we're going to be getting into this lucky penny palette from ColourPop it's going to be a quick little video with a demo look and just my thoughts on it I got this for Black Friday so I'm excited to see what this palette does and as you can see I got this beautiful look here so if you want to see how I got it then just keep on watching give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy content like this and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this in the future but without further blabbering right, let's hop and get into video. it this palette came out as a whole collection I didn't get anything else in the collection although I really did want to try some of the stick cream products they had like cream highlighters and blushes with this but I ended up just getting the palette because I was interested in it it's really pretty packaging and it's the lucky penny so of course we have that copper feel to it um, and then inside we have a array of beautiful neutral colors um, really pretty palette I was definitely drawn to it but I didn't want to pick it up right away and since the Black Friday so was going on I went ahead and just got um this one because i did have an interest in it i'm gonna do some quick swatches here just so we can see the color story so there are the first couple shades this shade is shiny objects copperhead and coin going into the next Ooh, three we shades we have token favor and making sense so this is token which is a matte shade favor and making sense those are pretty All right, the last three shades i have are like new hit it big and bouillon so like new hit it big which i think has micro glitters in it and bouillon which is like a dark brown that one swatched a little Oh, not look that bad. So those are the colors. So that's really a pretty color story. So those are the swatches. Let's go ahead and hop into a quick demo. All right, you guys, palette. let's hop into this pretty, beautiful palette. The Lucky Penny. It's so pretty. I like the packaging of this a lot. I love that color. I don't think I've seen any palette of this color before. It's really pretty. That coppery penny type color. And then the shades inside are a beautiful, neutral goodness i've already primed with the party proof eye primer this is the second time i'm using it i used it for the first time yesterday first impression of it i really enjoyed it yesterday and i like how it goes on kind of transparent but there's a little bit of color and it matches me perfectly so let's hop into the shade here token first and i'm just gonna do a simple look so we're gonna just hop right into it Next, let's hop into this shade called Like New right there. And this is a really pretty brown shade. I'm just gonna put that on. Then for my outer deepness, I'm definitely going to go into this shade, uh, bouillon, bouillon. I'm saying that right? Sounds like a, it's like a French word. Bouillon. What am I saying? All right, I'm just going to place that onto the outer part and deepen it up. <laughs> Let's go into the shimmers. I'm thinking the shade Copperhead looks nice and Shiny Objects also looks nice. So let's go into those ones. I'm going to go into Copperhead first. I'm going to pick it up on this Wet n Wild flat brush, which is kind of a little bit thick. I'm going to spray it. One for intensity and also for fallout. I just use a setting spray to spray it my shimmers it's really pretty and then on the inner part I'm just going to put shiny objects I'm cleaning off my brush with the brush cleaner and I'm going to go in with shiny objects this brush is a little thick but it's like the only flat brush I had clean possibly I've got maybe got some other ones up there but what else and then I'm just going to place that right into the inner part I don't really feel like nothing's coming up. Hold on. 
Okay, let's try that again. There we go. Maybe I didn't pick up enough. Or any. <laughs> okay, that's pretty. I feel like the first shape is more my jam. It's a little bit more shiny, I feel. But both are really pretty. I feel like finger just does the best work with shimmers, in my opinion. I'm just gonna blend that darker shade into the first shimmer a little bit and pretty much it for the lid for the lower lash line let's go into token and like new kind of smoke it out a bit so i'm gonna go into token first Yeah, that's pretty much it for the light eye look i'm gonna go off camera and do the rest of my face and i'll be right all right you guys here's the final look i got with this beautiful palette the lucky penny from ColourPop. it's absolutely gorgeous it's beautiful nice neutral just i love the blend i got with this and i mean it's something i probably could have done with a dozen other palettes but i just found this palette to be so fun so that's why i picked it up i'm glad i have it it's it's pretty and it was a dis um a black friday purchase so it was heavily discounted as well so i'm happy i have it it's beautiful it's gorgeous i feel like i'm gonna get a good amount of use out of it and i don't have that many neutral palettes from ColourPop, but i feel like this one is going to be great for my collection uh, and it's just going to add to it you know what i'm saying um i think that the mattes impressed me the most out of this palette um the shimmers they're pretty but they're not like anything that spectacular but i really do enjoy the mattes they're really really nice and they're gonna be great for like one and done looks as well or just a all matte look which i don't do often but i think i get a really good all matte look but the shimmers are really pretty as well and i didn't get to use every shade in here obviously but the ones i did use i enjoyed so that's the look with this you guys thank you so much for watching i finished the rest of my makeup with some tr tried and true products and i'm really just liking the way my face looks today i think everything looks really beautiful gorgeous i use the Patrick Ta palette for the second time today i'm so enjoying this i use the abh concealer i'm enjoying this more and more and i think it's not too dark as i was originally thinking and i actually used two new products that i got from black friday as well the elf setting spray it smells really good it smells like um what is that smell it's almost like a vanilla smell it smells really nice and then also use this juice infused lip oil from Ulta Beauty on the lips. So that's it for this look, you guys. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this. And I'll check you out in the next video very, very soon. Stay safe. Adios.